Lanikowski. Good afternoon and welcome to Phil Wilbright Gymnasium here at beautiful Argus, Indiana on a cold, blistery January afternoon as the Lady Dragons host the Pioneer Panthers. <coughs> Both teams uh, have a pretty good season. Battling it out, and it's a good rivalry we've had between the Lady Panthers and Lady Dragons for a while now. Last year's graduating uh, Tia Freshour came from Argus, went to Pioneer. Pioneer is fantastic season of 14 and 2, and the Dragons are 10 and 7. So here we go. Starting lineup. Wowzers. We're going to have a uh, starting lineup will come up after the national anthem. So common opponents, both of the Dragons and Pioneer basically match with all wins against common opponents with each other. So this should be a pretty good battle tonight, or uh, today. And we'll see what it's, uh, what it turns out here. We got about three and a half minutes till tip off. So we're gonna go ahead and take a commercial break and we're gonna be back here in a minute. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-fast hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, Hi, I'm John housewares, Oliver, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Trading. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovel or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Wallace Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-fast hardware store. a worry-free purchase. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. We're back. School fight's on going, and we both teams are, well, the Dragons are back in the locker room, and Pioneer is huddled in. Coach is giving them some final uh, instructions. We're going to see what happens. Going to look out for Brooks. She's a pretty good freshman. And the Haley Kripe, the sophomore, they're talking about them, and their name seems to come up quite a bit when it comes to the team. So we'll see what happens. So we'll have uh, the national anthem. We'll get that around and then we'll do the starting lineup. Looks like we got about 30 seconds or so before they do the national anthem. Coach is giving out final instructions, so the timekeeper is waiting.
for Pioneer. Here we go. Number 10, Macy Baker. Number 10, Mackenzie Walker. Number, number 21, Madison Bookenstaff. Number 22, Olivia Brook. And number 30, Haley Kripe. And for your Lady Dragons. Number 10, Sophie Bowenbacher. Number 14, senior Emily LaFree. Number 22, junior Maddie Vanderwill. Sophomore, number 40, Elizabeth Edmonds. Number 42, Macy Morris. Stricker clan here tonight, except for uh, Maddie. Well, she's not even Stricker anymore. She's married. Kyle. Kyle. All right. So here we go. We got Edmonds tip off versus Brooke. Edmonds got the slight height advantage, about oh, let me see, three, four inches maybe. Got Edmonds listed at six foot. Tip goes towards Pioneer. Kicks it out, rotates, looks. Puts it over. Walker, loose, throws it out, and it's on a bounce. It's gonna be Dragons basketball. Vanderbilt gonna be running point. Edmonds breaks to it, goes over. Bowenbacher, Edmonds. Morris. Vanderwill, Bowenbacher. Back to Vanderwill. Long distance. Morris didn't get a clean catch, so she couldn't take the shot. Take the foul. Wide move, take the foul. She was in the air. Jump into her, get a three-point free throws. Oh, boy, girls. Recovers it, looks low, can't do anything. Edmonds, on her, rotate out, kicks it high. Edmonds is on Blick and Staff. They kick it over, Walker gets the ball. Kripe. Brooke rotates it out to the top of the key. Kripe looks, down low, no help side, a miss, and rebound goes to Morris. Bonebacher kicks it over. LaFree. Dragons basketball tipped out of bounds from Brooke. Well, we got a barn burner. Beginning of the game. Morris has it. Down low, Edmonds drives, kicks it up, over to Vanderwill. Two three zone, Dragon spreads it out. Throws it away, LaFree's gonna recover it. Timeout, Coach Ma uh, Dewar will be back right after this. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. 
from field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. We're back. Inbounds play for the Dragons. Edmonds gets it. Takes it up. Looks. Got two on her. Kicks it out. Morris recovers. Vanderbilt comes around and gets it. Bonebacher fakes. Looks. Kicks it over. Good pass. LaFree. Edmonds picks up her dribble, gets it over to Bowenbacher. Back to Morris. Crossover. Kicks it out. LaFree. Vanderbilt. Edmonds turns. Good defense from the Panthers, but then again, good ball handling from the Dragons. And there's the steal. Shot, and it's good. I got to give Carrie Stricker a little, a little bit of guff there. She clapped. <laughs> Foul. <laughs> you see how red her face did. Brandon Will has it. Who's going to pull the trigger for the Dragons? Brandon Will picks up her dribble. Sophie Bollenbacher. Shots up, and it's good. Dragons got to get down the court quickly. Here's a quick three from distance, and it's in. Breaks the press. Edmonds. Sophie Bollenbacher misses. Morris, quick hands, tips it away. LaFree's out on her. Book. Quick three, and it's no good. Dragons basketball. Morris. LaFree ties it. Oh, two point, two point for LaFree. Well, it looked like it was distance, but she must have had her toe on the line. Good pass from Brooke. Edmonds fakes. Back over. Quick hands from Brooke. And Vanderbilt battling for it. The free steps back. No call. Shots up, no good. Loose, it's going to be Dragons basketball.
Edmonds turns, shot, no good. Loose ball, here comes Pioneer. Brooke, good. Vanderbilt has it, gets it over to Morris. And Brooke takes it. Shots up and misses the layup. Shots up and they put it back in. We'll be back right after this. Argus Hardware is your local do it best hardware store. Offering everything you need for your home improvement lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Stoltz is in for Morris. Morris taking a break. <laughs> Edmonds, Bowenbacher. Over to LaFree. Switched to the pivot foot and the officials didn't catch it. <laughs> Edmonds, Sophie Bowenbacher has it. Yep. There it is. Edmonds on the foul on the ground. Breckenstaff. Looks like it will be. 21. Her first and Brooks first. Oh, uh, so. Stoltz, no good. Out on Vanderbilt. Rebound, shot, blocked. Kicked out, kicked over. Quick baseline jumper, and it's good. Travel, kicks it over, rotates. Quick open three, no good. Edmonds needs to block that out. And that's gonna do it for the end of the first. Dragons down 15 to four. John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. 
Buy a car? Get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! We're back. Here comes Pioneer. Pulls up, kicks it over. Great positioning, misses. And blocked by Edmonds. And then foul by LaFree. You don't want a lot of fouls, you want good action. But two fouls per team in the first quarter's over. They're not aggressive either. She puts it in. Well, on the headset, Stevie Stricker joining us. How are we doing today? Well, Coach uh, Dewar looks like he's uh, sending a message to some players. <laughs> well, just... Oh, sorry. You just turned me down. I turned the wrong one down. Three needs to go down. I, uh, I kind of noticed that. I was down on the floor uh, getting some uh, footage for a story I'm working on. And uh, like, wait a minute. This doesn't look right. So, well, the, uh, yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. Well, Bacher's at the line. So uh, you, you got to give the uh, Dragons credit, though. They're playing tough. I mean, they uh, that first uh, few minutes or that first quarter, they really, uh, you know, were hanging in there. And down there on the floor level, it's it's pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're going after it pretty good. And, of course, this is a really good team they're playing. So, well, Coach Dewars, I guess. I don't know. I'm not real sure. But uh, the girls are battling and uh, putting up a pretty good fight. Vanderwell has it. Going to inbound it. LaFree spins. Shots up. And it's no good. Looking staff with the rebound. And here comes Brooke, the little freshman. Puts it in. She's a freshman in grade. She's, she's just she's a she's a enigma when it comes to she's another uh, North Judson. What's her name? Uh, Lafra Fra Lily Frazier. She's yeah. another Frazier. You get one in a while that comes through. It's just a phenomenal player. We've seen it. She's a Courtney Dunlap style player. Just run and gun and does well with it. Understands the game. And uh, coming off a little bit of a, she had a knee injury and she's recovering from that, and that's why she's not didn't start. Yeah, she's uh, so she's in her about fourth game back. Yeah, uh, after uh, ACL surgery, and she's a little bit more than uh, what you'd say a, an enigma. She's she's a, a player. She's got yeah. uh, at least three D1 offers yeah. on the table before she even played, sat foot on a uh, the high school floor. Yep. And, uh, well, then she's a she's above the enigma yes. as far as quality of players. She is she's uh, like the she's top, special. Top yeah. five percentile. Yeah, yeah, she's a very special player. And if she can stay healthy, uh, yeah, she's, that's the only thing. She's that gonna, this is gonna be a fun team because they're very young. Yeah, they, they are very young. Well, her and Kripe are two of the players that were notable, and they're a sophomore and a freshman. And so. the, the thing right there, Kripe, you know, with the easy bucket. Um, this is Kripe's third sport. Yeah. I mean, her her best sport is softball. Yeah, and then and then probably you'd say volleyball would be her second sport. And uh, 
this is this is what you would say would be her third and uh you know she's come in and, and run point for him with with ashland being out and with tia graduating of course tia fresh hour from uh transferred from here had a good career down there so yep <coughs> Programs are always strong. And her sister, uh, Olivia, is a junior, number 22. And uh, she can jump out of the gym. Yeah. I mean, flat out can jump out of the gym. And uh, she was the Logan Land Volleyball Player of the Year. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Well, we've always talked about small schools doing multiple sports as players. We had a ring ceremony for the state soccer team last night and uh, 17 of the 24 19 of the 24 are two and the other ones are three sport athletes <laughs> so you do it all when you have to especially in small schools and we played New Prairie last night for the JV all juniors and sophomores no freshmen no seniors and they have a C team that's nothing but freshmen because they're from a 4A school sure. so you see the difference when it comes down to uh large school small school but i tell you what an athlete that plays multiple sports is more adjust adept and well-rounded than a single sport player so it shows the benefits right here morris kicks it over to vanderwell vanderwell for three and it's good dragons warming up and making a comeback and that just helps right there well and that was the uh the thing i was really impressed with um with them against Oregon Davis the other night. You know, Oregon Davis came out and, and kind of the same thing in that first quarter, really got a nice lead. Mm -hmm. But the Dragons didn't quit. Uh, they came back and, and made a really good game of it towards the end and kind of doing the same. Morris there. Just and misses. LaFree with the rebound. Vanderwell, nice fake. Little jumper. Very good at the floater. Five, uh, five points in a row right there. Cuts it to six, so. Vanderwheel. Uh, oh, they got to be aware of Brooke being out there on the distance, though. You got to be smarter than that. She, uh, much like Macy with her range, if she's inside the half court line, you better get on her. <laughs> really. Well, you just got to be smart when it comes yeah. to players like that. You don't leave them open. Well, you normally you don't think, you know, hey, if they're in the S, that they're going to shoot it, but she very well could and probably would hit it. Well, with Caitlin Sowers and uh, Mercedes Rhodes, they'll do it for Morgan Davis. So you have to be aware of all these girls have learned. The more range I have, the more effective I can be. So they're starting to learn to shoot from distance further and further. Edmonds, little jumper, and it's off the mark. Kind of hesitated a little there. Yeah. Come around. I don't think she was expected to be that open. Gets a oh, block. Oh, oh, that was clean. <laughs> that was clean. Yeah, we, on we've Blick. seen some of those, and that's just yeah. how it goes. That was a clean block yep. on uh, for Edmonds on Blick and staff, but uh, ref didn't see it that way. Yep. Bowenbacher going back in. Edmonds with her first on the evening as far as fouls. Blick and staff off. Pioneer boys, well known for their football program. And uh, the athletes run deep in both programs as far as uh, both schools with multiple sports. Multiple state championships between both of those uh, schools. So it's, it's kind of nice to see that it's all family uh, type of school where multiple kids play different things and they all work and it's their cousins and their brothers and their parents went there and so on and so forth. It's a real nice tradition that we have here and down there. There's a lot of small schools in the area. So, well, if, you, uh, if you look at number 30, Haley Cripe, she's a sophomore. Yep. She's got a state title in softball, state runner-up in softball, Yep. and a um, state runner-up in volleyball including a sectional title last year in, in basketball. And yeah. she's in her, you know, halfway through her sophomore year. So Well, every once in a while you get a group of a class that just has very, very good athletic potential and talent, and they just really seem to, uh, they seem to uh, benefit, and they have a nice three-pointer there. Almost on cue as we were yeah. talking about her. But then they, you see those kids, they really blossom and they take it no matter what they do and they all just work and get it. So here's a steal and a handoff, for lack of a better phrase. Back over to Kripe for three and puts it in again. Dragons down 30 to 14. Coach Dewey with the timeout. 
So, Dragons doing well battling, and then all of a sudden, the three-point gun show started going off for Pioneer. We'll be back right after this. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. We're back. Bohmbacher to inbound to Vanderbilt. So the uh, the weather is taking a little bit of a toll on our schedule tonight on our yeah. TV for the uh, big rivalry game, Tiffany Valley at Rochester for girls basketball is uh, being postponed. postponed. I'm looking here. They have a date already. I think it's next week. Well, there was a lot of flights already canceled today because Kenny uh, Nifong's down at the end watching the game, and he was supposed to be landing in Florida by now, <laughs> and no. he was not happy. Uh, no. I Last night I told him you're going to have at least a 10-hour delay, and he said I would have taken it, but now I, the flight was canceled altogether. <laughs> so I uh, agree with their second. I kind of anticipate we'll probably have some more here before we get into these evening games. Uh, we got a big schedule on for tonight. Well, the temperature's dropping, and what moisture's out there is freezing on the roads and yeah. causing havoc. Caston has a doubleheader, girls and boys versus West Central. Winnemac has a girls-boys doubleheader versus OD. And then we got Pioneer boys taking on Carroll over at Pioneer, so. Nice pass. Oh, and a miss, but ticks it out. Another three, and it's off to Mark. Morris with the rebound. Morris. Playing with the injured knee. Got a special brace. Doctor said, well, you can't do much more to it. You can play if you want. And she says, I'm a player. I want to play. I'm a senior. I want this opportunity. So she's playing injured. And Edmonds puts the two. So you got to give it to her. She's got a huge heart for being out there. Yeah, yeah. Edmonds uh, shot that one in rhythm and was able to put it in from about 14. That's, that's a sweet spot for Lizzie yeah, right there in that 15-foot uh, range. Uh, she's had, I think, her season high is 19 points. And that was all in one half. She did it because it was a team that didn't play a lot in the second half. And mm. she had 19 in the one half. So when she's on, she is a threat. Coach Dewar trying to keep his girls fired up. He's getting after it, yeah. Loud, but always positive. Always is. Kicks it down. Nice steal from Morris over to LaFree. And here comes LaFree. Carly Miller. Getting some varsity time and throws it away. Sight pulls back. Brooke for three. No good. Miller gets it over to LaFree. And that's a too easy of a pass, and then the hustle's not there. Morris asking for a sub. Yeah. Vanderbilt going back in. Well, I, I think you can give her a little uh, break. She hasn't she's, played for uh, yeah, two yeah. months. and, and she tells you when she's wanting a break. Yeah, yeah. Talked to her at the school last night after the Oregon Davis game, and she said that foul or travel. So she said that she's feeling pretty good. Her knee's not too bad. She's, she's comfortable with it. And she said if I'm not willing to pay for a play with a little pain type of deal, then, yeah. you know, that's why she's got big heart there. Stoltz going back in. Miller coming out. Speaking of Macy. Yeah, well, I said I thought she was on the computer, but she said she did it yeah, on her phone. She can do she can do it on the phone, so. Man, technology's amazing when it works. Right. Want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Bob Shanks from uh, Happy Burger. Happy Burger. Yeah, mm. he called. He called before the game. He's been uh, kind of under the weather. Yeah. He was. He wanted to make sure he could watch the game. He's been antsy to watch this game. So uh, hopefully he's watching and, and say hi to to Bob. And he's got uh, the railroad running around the top of the restaurant oh yeah. still. Oh love, boy. Love, love, love. There you go. I'm up here in Argus and I know about that. I've oh been yeah. there more than <laughs> once. <laughs> Well, when you got uh, oh, a giant a hole, hole outside of the restaurant, it's hard not to know. Over and back, and she realized it. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah. The bull kind of sets it off. If you're interested, he's uh, he's ready to retire. So, uh, wrong town. Yeah. <laughs> You could be the new Mr. Happy Burger. I'm not that happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that pleasant of a person. <laughs> It'd it be Mr. Sarcastic Burger. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Double dribble. It'd Mr. Sarcastic Burger for me, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We got nine seconds left. Dragon's down. 16. Not going to let her have a freebie this time. She breaks through, though. Oh, she kept it. Ooh, that's hurting. That's rough. And she tripped over her feet. And I hope she's okay. Yeah. Ouch. She's got a little bit. She just went around the second part. Yeah, you need to get her out, coach. Oh, that's not good. Well, we hope she's okay. She's telling the assistant coach, nice shot by Kripe at the end, the three. Dragons go in trailing 35-16. We're going to get some unofficial stats and get some ice out and make sure she's okay. Well, she jogged into the locker room pretty well, so hopefully it was just maybe a... We'll see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> coming in the second half, 35-16 here at the half. All right, we'll be back after a few commercial breaks, and I get the unofficial stats from Amy, the scorekeeper, and we'll be back here in a little bit. Enjoy full-screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Oliver Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good-as-new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen and the best customer service you have ever experienced. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider working hard to be a good neighbor. 
At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. you shop at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, you're treated like family and it's a full service experience. Our expert service team can keep your vehicle happy for years, from simple maintenance to major repairs. We even provide a loaner car if your vehicle needs to stay overnight. So we have an excellent source of demonstrator vehicles offered to you with substantial discounts. So search our inventory online or stop in for a test drive at Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. Well, you use that quote. And we're back here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium, halftime unofficial game stats at the moment. So here we are, we're going to go through Pioneer Lady Panthers. Uh, Weisenberger with one, Walker with two, Wickenstaff has been held to three by Edmonds, Olivia Brook with eight, Ashland Brook with ten, and Haley Kripe leading all scores with fourteen. For the Dragons, you got Sophie Bullbacher with three, Emily LaFree with four, Elizabeth Edmonds with four, and Maddie Vanderwill with five. 
So uh, Morris has not got on the scoring table, even though having some good minutes. But she really hasn't even pulled the trigger yet. I haven't seen her take any shots. Uh, good news for the Panthers. Looks like Ashlyn Brook is uh, warming up. Seems to be okay. I think she uh, might have hit her knee kind just of a little more, bit. Yeah. You know, just directly on the floor than anything. Hopefully. Well, I know that a lot of players want to play. I know a lot of coaches want to keep their players' stats up. But you're up 35-16. I don't put her in the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, you might see her a few minutes. Just, just here to and there. Sure but that the, good. But, but uh, for the most, yeah. you can rest her. You're not going to need her. Unless the Dragons come out and battle like they did the second half of Oregon Davis, um, you know. But well, and the the nice thing about this uh, Pioneer team is they know how to play without her because they've done it for, sure. for a half a year. And uh, again, uh, you know, like you said, the high scorer is uh, Cripe. So yeah, she's, she's doing, well. doing fantastic for them. Um, you mentioned um, Blickenstaff only having what four? Three. Three points. That is a really good defensive job. She's coming off of a 24-point game against McConaughey. So uh, that's a little odd. That was her, her, you know, but she can she can score them, and uh, she really runs the floor well. Her and uh, Edmonds, uh, in my mind, play pretty similarly. Sure. Uh, just their, their build and their speed and everything. Uh, so that's a good matchup. Uh, doing a fine job on the defensive end is uh Well, they the got a list of Edmonds. 5'11", but for once, I think that the stats are actually wrong in the other way. It, you know, basketball is known for adding an inch, but I think she's right at six foot now because she's right next to Ed and Edmonds when they stand next to each other. Yeah. And actually, Lizzie has grown a little bit, and she's like almost six one now. And uh, yeah, because Olivia Brooke is is about five ten, I think, and and she's a good two inches taller than her. Yeah, so uh, it's all good. The yeah. good battle, Edmonds between the individuals is up by one point with four. <laughs> so we'll see what happens here as the Dragons get back into it. Forces it, and Edmonds picks it back up, and it's going to be. A hike and a jump ball. <laughs> the uh, the unfortunate part about that is the Dragons really need Edmonds to score, and the, oh. the Panthers. Oh yeah, he steps across the line. Good job by Vanderbilt right yeah. there. Yeah, the quick instant defense. Yeah, Edmonds is down in the paint and stuff. She's going to have to get those double digits per game for the Dragons. Going to be have to be essential. We've seen her do it. You just talk about booking staff at 24. Edmonds had 19 and one half earlier in the season, and then. Didn't play much the second half because it was kind of a runaway game, but since then it's been a little bit hit and miss for her. So Vanderwill is all over Kripe and going to stay on her quite well. Maddie Vanderwill really becoming a great basketball player in her own right for the Dragons. Yeah, I'm impressed uh, with her defense. You know, for a girl, what is she, about 5'9", 5'10"? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, she's uh, she's, no, she's actually, Maddie is only 5'8". Oh, she's taller now. No, she's not, because she stands uh, next to Aunt Amy, who's 5'10", and uh, at, yeah. like Christmas. And you can tell she is, but she just seems it because a lot of players aren't even up to 5'8", especially for the Dragons. You got 5'5", 5'5", 5'6", 5'2", 5'3", 5'1", 5'7", 5'8", so another 5'4". So the Dragons aren't overly tall. We're uh, in same same right. We you know, Pioneer doesn't have a quote unquote six footer on the list, but yeah. five eleven, five nine, five nine, five seven. So five eight down there with Benny. All right, Dragons, looking to stay in this game. Quite gets it. Picks up, rotates, turns, and good defensive play, and really forced an unorthodox out-of-bounds shot from Bookenstaff. Both was, of those she girls traveled. Yeah. She didn't throw it up. She and tried something. Darn near threw the thing in. Nice. Uh, they had Edmonds. Uh, they had Edmonds in front and in back. Morris. And oh, oh, what a play right there by Morris. Phil needs to save that, but uh, he's not paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. On the ground. And let's see who it's on. Is it on Edmonds? Sure is. <laughs> Phil stayed up too late last night. Look at him. Oh, it's an early <laughs> game. It's an afternoon game. and Quick pass cross. A little jumper. And it's no good. Brook and Staff gets the ball. Tries to battle. Gets it across over to Craig. 
over on the other side. Cutting and blocked again by Edmonds. Out of bounds, lets it go, and it's going to be Dragons basketball. That was a good block because Brooke can, like we said, really jump, and uh, Edmonds was able to uh, send that one back. Well, Edmonds, in comparing to, like, uh, Kaylin Barlow, averages about three and a half blocks a game, but at six foot, you figure she should, but mm -hmm. Kaylin definitely had it by a few inches. Yeah. <laughs> so... Kicks it down, Buckenstaff battles and ends up getting through that time. Well, that was the impressive thing about Macy ending up, I think, number six all time. <laughs> <laughs> Blocks shots. at 5'8". Uh, well, you got to, it's all about hustle. Yeah. It works, it makes a big difference. Vanderbilt looks, turns, spins, gets it over, and it's off the hands of Edmonds. Didn't help, didn't hurt though. She also had about a six foot wingspan. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're blessed with that in basketball. Really, really long arms. Turnover. Dragons got it. Gets it over to Vanderbilt. I like the uh, senior posters. Those are really nice. Yeah, they look uh, very good. There's quite a bit of seniors on the basketball teams, boys especially, compared to uh, the girls. Four. Six on the boys, and you got Shane up there for the cheerleading staff <laughs> with yeah. a couple of the girls. Lifter, as he says. I'm just yeah. a lifter. Yeah. Yeah, they wear a shirt that says, some athletes lift weights. I lift athletes. <laughs> <laughs> Rotates it over. Blickenstaff has it. Sees the baseline and realizes it's cut off, and a quick three, and it's good. When Kripe steps into her shot, uh, it's good. It's a really, <laughs> really beautiful. I mean, she's got beautiful form. At five five, she's uh, very tenacious. Oh, she's as strong as as, as they come too. Yeah. Tipped away, comes away with it, and is not wasting time. And gets the foul on Edmonds, and that should be Edmonds' third of the evening. If you go into uh, Pioneer High School around 6.30 in the morning, most Second. mornings, you're going to see uh, Haley Kripe in the weight room. There you and go. Uh, she outlifts a lot of the boys. And, ooh, rushes her free throw shot, though. And in then, here comes Brooke back in. I see Weisenberger, a couple yeah. of uh, Dragons, so uh, Morris and... Uh, LaFree going to take a break. Herford and Stoltz back in. Stoltz gets overpowered on the rebound and another putback bucket for Pioneer. Moving screen, not called by <laughs> Sophie Bullenbacher. Ooh. Well, they called that block earlier, so you know they're yeah. going gonna to blow the whistle. We had a guy one down the other day that the girl fell down and lost the ball before Emma Dunlap got there, and he already blew the whistle for the foul. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the officials anticipate the foul right. before it actually is committed. So Edmonds, pretty good free throw average, puts it in. Not a job that I would want when I started uh, thinking no. about what to do after high school. You know, coaching came up, refing came up. Refing, you know, bye bye. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. It doesn't matter what call you make. You're gonna you're gonna make half of the crowd, uh, yep. you know, upset. And well, you know, you can officiate soccer. It's a little different. You got long distance away. You're out <laughs> in the grass. You can't hear. In a hear gym, them. you're uptight and personal, and it doesn't always work well. Vanderbilt. Herford tries to go over. Throws, do not use the bounce pass near him all. Blocked shot against Edmonds. That's a rare occasion. And here comes Brooke. Foul, Vanderbilt. It's her second. Yeah, it's her second. Bowenbacher comes away with it. 
Gets it over to Edmonds. Herford. Shot. No good. Rebound. Stoltz. Battles. Loses it. Going to call a foul on Brook. Ashwin Brook with the foul. Her first of the evening. Low fouling event here tonight. Vanderbilt's got to hurry. Gets it in. Bonbacher. Vanderbilt fakes, looks, spins, blocked. Trying to go through too many. And here comes Kripe and Vanderbilt catches her, cuts her off. Need to call a foul there, but she dishes it off and they get the bucket. Getting off a handsy down there. Dragons down. 44 to 19. Picks up a dribble. <clears throat> Herford throws it over. Balls inbound. Yeah. Little jumper, baseline, and it's good. Joe Walker with the shot. You yep. don't see her uh, shoot it a whole lot. Uh, she's kind of their defensive specialist, kind of like uh, Kennedy, you know, back in the day for the Dragons. But uh, she's usually when she shoots it, she uh, she does hit them. Walker's got six. Yeah. I'd like to see her shoot a little bit more, actually, because she does uh, she does have a pretty shot. Sometimes self-confidence isn't always there in these girls. It's the thing they learn quick. Well, you should see her behind the plate in the softball diamond, though. <laughs> you don't want to get too much of a lead on first base with her back there. Yeah. Starts travels. Van Will, Free, and Morris are back in. Ha! Herford and Stoltz go out. And Vanderwill struggling a little bit. And in comes Zom for Vanderwill. Zom gets down on Crate. Rotates it down, gets it down low. Looks. Yep, I was going to say she did. Walker travels that time. Good defense from Zom. Been doing some checking so far. Um, no changes in Winnemac, Caston, or Pioneer games tonight. So, well, at Rochester at, or Valley at Rochester is the only one that I've had a change on. Shots up and good. 35 degrees, so it's not exactly freezing yet, but it's awful close. Weather uh, might have been a little bit worse down uh, Tippy Valley side, but stolen again. Zom comes away with it. Allie Zom coming off of a hip injury herself. Edmonds kicks it down low. LaFree shots up and gets the roll. Nice strong move there by the senior. She took it to uh, Walker. Twenty-eight seconds left in the third. Dragons trailing 46-23. Zom. Try pass it. Rotates it. Waiting for the last second shot. Walker. Try. Screen, it's obvious where she's going for three, and it's no good. And that's gonna do it for the end of the third. Dragons go in trailing 46-23. We'll be back right after this. 
Argus Hardware is your local do-it-best hardware store, offering everything you need for your home improvement, lawn and garden, housewares, and home decor. Argus Hardware prides itself on a knowledgeable and friendly staff. Stop by today to stock up on all of your winter preparation needs, like shovels or ice melt. Argus Hardware is located at 200 West Walnut Street in Argus. Argus Hardware, your local do-it-best hardware store. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. All right, we're back. It's going to be Dragons basketball. Fourth quarter here. Phil Waybright Gymnasium. The man, the myth, the legend. Two of them, Waybright and Mr. Schneider, both were here last night watching the festivities. Imagine having that kind of coaching talent, those types of wins. <laughs> they got a lot of stories for sure. You got it. Another block shot. Brooks shows her athletic ability there, getting yep. Morris. Yeah, you go through 76 regular season games without a loss. That's a, it's a well, it's a record that hasn't been broken, so that's unbreakable. Mm -hmm. Close has been like 58, and that's with class basketball. Flick puts one in from 15. They talk about records. The Dragons, the record, they had 101 game the other day, and the record's 114, and there was no such thing as a three-point line. Yeah. <laughs> During the spirit of 76, the average game score was 86 points on two-pointers only. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the occasional foul at the free throw was your only three-point option. Right. The old-fashioned three-point Old-fashioned three-point. Why they call it that, but you, could you imagine making those, that many shots in games? And puts it in again. How many is Kripe up to? Well, quite a bit. I'll get you the <laughs> number afterwards. Sorry, I thought you were keeping it running. Nah, well, Phil usually does the opposing team, and I do the home team, and that makes it quick and easy. But another block, loose ball. I'd like to see that Macy is shooting now. Yeah. Rotates it over. Blickenstaff. Struggling tonight for her, and rebound goes to Edmonds. Playing good defense on Edmonds. LaFree goes all the way in and misses, and rebound from Bollenbacher and puts it in. Good job by Sophie on the backside getting that rebound. Well, this game's been good for her, getting a lot of playing time, and that helps her out. Zom out high. Blickenstaff looks, now she's going to it, and gets it in. And that was, had a uh, hand on it, but yeah. the string still rolled it up and in. And That was through a block of yeah. Edmonds. That was a strong move. Morris looks. Kicks it over to Bonebacher. Bonebacher driving, and one. And wow. they call it. Very good. I thought maybe it was going to be on the ground, but good strong play from the sophomore. That's two in a row there for uh, the sophomore Bullenbacher. And uh, Falcon, I think, is that number 11, Falcon? Yeah. He's going to check in Let's for uh, Pioneer. Yes, it is. Gabriella senior. Falcon, senior, getting some minutes. And Bullenbacher just off. She looks uh, familiar. She played on the JV. Yes, she yeah. did. She yeah. played the JV. So it's good to see her get some uh, varsity minutes. Here's a quick shot from Kripe. And she is on fire. So smooth. Yeah. I mean, it's just a. Well, you know, as, uh, if I'm her, I've got the trigger out saying, hey, uh, Ash on Brooke, you sit down. I'm yeah. going to take the team tonight. <laughs> so fantastic for her. 
Well, she had, what, 16 Morris. at the half? Um, she had 14 at the half. She's probably, uh, she's going to be pushing. pushing 28 or so. Yeah. Walker. There's a block from Edmonds. Got 1v5. <laughs> I would have done it. Go yeah, for it. Right? You're going to either make it or get fouled trying. <laughs> If you miss, yeah, you, you know, missed, you yeah. can say, I, got, I just went against five players. Of course I missed. <laughs> That's one of those opportunities where no matter what, you got a good excuse. And here goes Zoms out, and Morgan Dunlap's in. 421 left. <laughs> Morgan making her premiere for the day or debut of the afternoon her sister's home with a fever she could be under the weather shots up and it's no good rebound Edmonds Edmonds averages 11 boards a game I think is where she's at wow but being at that height she should and she can't get the roll Yeah, it still takes a lot of work, though. Well, you bet you, know, you got to hustle in minutes. You yeah. got to get got to get down there and get in position. Hit from the last time to free throw line. Let's see what she does here. And a little short. And towards the end of the game, she's been working hard, a little bit tired. That's why you always make kids practice free throws at the end of practice when yep. they're tired, not yep. at the beginning. And Hoffman's going to check in, probably from Morris. And Edmonds makes that one. Hoffman in, and yes, it is for Morris. Some good minutes from uh, the senior Macy Morris. A lot of heart there with that one, that's for sure. Shania Walters. <laughs> <laughs> the girl with the most heart of any player I've ever seen. Yes. No matter what it is, she tried and tried and tried. Just about stolen by Dunlap. Help side, kicks it back. Great movement and fouled and Falcons going to the line. Can get uh, Dunlap on her first there. Two shots for Gabriella. Gabriella. Shots up and no good. Dragons down 58, or 56, 28. Could be 57, and the bank is open. Yeah, it's Saturday afternoon, right? Well, it closes uh, at noon. Closes at not noon. Not the gymnasium. Feel way by gymnasium. It's still open. Hoffman. Bonbacher, Dunlap, kicks it down. Forced to pass, battles. And they're going to call a foul on her. Brooke, a little bit on Edmund's back. A bounce pass would get right to her. Yeah. I, that overhead. She almost got around her, but yep. uh, not able to, and uh, gets the foul call. Edmonds trying to go over him, and it's stolen. Gripe slowing it down a bit. Game's in hand for going to rotate it. There it is. Quick pressure. And here comes Hoffman. Shots up. No good. LaFree with the rebound. Turns. Tries to shoot it and gets it up, but does not put it in. She's going line shooting, too. Baker are done for the uh, afternoon, I was saying. Yep. And Briley Benny is in for the Lady Panthers. And number 13, Macy Weisenberger. Yeah. 
Spins and it's stolen again. Could have been a foul. Didn't call it. It's not a foul unless the whistle blows. Six fouls to four and the fans say you gotta call it both ways. <laughs> it's like, really? Okay, this has probably been the least amount of fouls in a basketball game I've seen in, I don't know, a decade. <laughs> Except for Oregon Davis. They, Argus had 27 and they had two. Yeah. That was a few years back. Two fouls against Oregon Davis and 27 against Argus. That's free throws. No. That was, was 25 to nothing. That was the free throws, yeah. but the fouls were like that that yeah. obscure and craziness. Yeah. We still only lost by like two. I remember that game. Are you trying to get me started? No. Okay. <laughs> what do you expect, though? <laughs> Stirring it up, aren't you? Stirring it up. It's, it's, been, been, a, it's been a while. Yeah. You're just, you're just want to stir well, does Pioneer yeah. play our OD? No. No, see. Not unless uh, something crazy happens. Well, they would They would possibly have a you know regional, regional game. meeting if, if that came to it. Well, I tell you what, it just depends on the situation. But this year's Oregon Davis team has got a pretty good record, but. I'm interested, uh, really, because uh, they're going to be playing over at Winnemac here a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, really, really good Winnemac team. Their record, you know, they got six or seven losses, but yeah. Uh, Coach Croft has really beefed up their schedule. Sure. And if you look at their losses, they've all been basically a better school. You schools. know it, yeah. And that's what you want to do. Yeah. So interesting to see what, what happens over there uh, tonight with the uh, Winnemac Lady Warriors taking on yeah. Oregon Davis. That's gonna, gonna be, be a big one. That'd gonna be, be watching that watch. pretty close, yeah. yeah. And out comes Walker, and in goes number 23. So let's go to the JV side because it's not on the varsity. 23. Um, we're just gonna guess it's Maggie Steffel. Yeah, because it's not on the varsity roster. I don't know. Uh, I don't know all of them that well yet. So there you go. Yeah. And uh, Kripe's going to stay in to maintain the ball. Dribbles through, kicks it out, rotates it. Falcons open in the corner, keeps it. And Ellis with the foul. Thirty-five seconds left. Dragons down, fifty-seven, thirty-two. Right. Okay, I got corrected. What's up? Mandy Weisenberger. Weisenberger? Is number 23. Oh, okay. All right. Here goes Weisenberger. That's, uh, that's according to Ashley Moore, who would know, because she's our pioneer Thanks, Ashley. producer. Yeah. I love it when somebody gets the correct Steve. <laughs> They're going to hold it, and that's going to do it for the, today's match. Pioneer comes out on top, 57-32. So we're going to take a few commercial breaks. I'm going to go down and get the uh, stats from the bookkeeper, and we'll come back and conclude today's action. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car? Get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> Participate! 
Got that new home addition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. All of a Ford is the largest certified pre-owned dealer in Michiana. Our inventory changes daily and you are guaranteed the best customer service in our area. We treat you like family. Every certified pre-owned Ford includes factory-backed warranty coverage, complimentary vehicle history report and lots more. Don't miss out on our end-of-year discounts on all of our good as new inventory. Rates low as we have ever seen and the best customer service you have ever experienced. RTC Cable subscribers, now you can watch your favorite cable networks wherever you are, on your phone, tablet, or computer. Just log on to www.watchtveverywhere.com. Enter your RTC account information and sign up to watch TV everywhere. Live sports, videos on demand, and more, all for free with your RTC Cable subscription. Watch TV everywhere, another great service from RTC. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service. Backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider, working hard to be a good neighbor. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Type crank. This is what? These cranks? 
Good afternoon. We're back. We're going to do the post-game show. We got unofficial stats. We're going to finish out the game. So, Gabriella Falcon with one. Macy Weisenberger with one. Walker with four. Blickenstaff ended up with nine. Brooke with ten. Uh, Ashlyn, that is. Olivia Brooke with 12. And Haley Kripe with 20. For the Dragons... Macy Morris with two, Maddie Vander with five, Sophie Bullenbacher with seven, LaFree with eight, and Edmonds with ten. So that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up for today. It's been a beautiful cold evening, afternoon, early here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium. It's been a long couple days, three straight days of games, uh, fish fry, state trophy stuff with the ring ceremony all kinds of things going on here at Argus Community Schools in your local neighborhood we want to appreciate and tell everybody how much we thank you for attending and tuning in and any shout outs just send them down away and we'll get them to you so uh, with that being said from Argus TV at RTC TV 4 we're signing off Steve Stricker's already tuned out got his headphones on the ground talking to other people so we're done for the evening got Phil on the computer we got Peyton on the camera and myself and Steve. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.